There's a notion that goes around the spiritual schools of thought that we chose to come here to this finite mortal existence as star-seeded soul beings from a timeless infinite light dimension. But to be conceptually absolutist about these theories of life is a bit of a fallacy really, as language could never do justice to what is really going on. It can only be descriptive and point to an intellectual sense of what this is really all about which is a contrived map rather than the actual territory itself. But signs and symbols do rule this world as programmable absolutes, or so it seems. The weight of a program we use to inform us and our perceptions of this place that we then act upon has collectively projected what we experience on the world stage. The compounding of polarised thinking is definitely part of what has made this collective 3D experience so dense. That along with all of the technological frequencies and fields that have created an interfering electromagnetic soup of sorts we have to wade through on a daily basis. What you can think about yourself is not your true nature. The incessant inner dialoguing and inner critic is just an expression of the enclosedness of this realm. Our ethereal component of self is way more expansive than the conclusivity of the what you see is what you get mentality. Our light body just gets swamped and dims down by the heaviness of the collective unconscious whilst we are here if we're not careful with our conscious boundaries. Even our eyes lie to us, as we are hardwired to see the material particle nature of solidity rather than the true quantum fluid wave state that precedes it. Because you can't see the DNA molecule unless it's enhanced energetically under an electromagnetic microscope. So physicality is a total illusion. Not to mention the literal non-percentage of the light spectrum that we actually see <laughs> That's something daft like 0.001% or maybe even less. I think there's definitely some truth to the school of thought which suggests we go through a mind wipe from our previous lives or true divine nature as we incarnate into this realm. But I think it might be more accurate to say that because this material plane vibrates at such a slow and dense rate that the forgettery of our connection to our higher knowing nature is inherent within just existing here. Kind of like a distortion field. Important to build our plasma light bodies up and vibrate holistically out of a depressive stalemate, which seems to be the base level state of being in this realm. I think that's why therapy is so rife nowadays. There's nothing wrong with being depressed, it's just symptomatic of being in such a burdensome, heavy psychic atmosphere. But once we realise that we can take individual steps to a more lighter state of being, that gets us out of that enclosed system of operating into a more open sourced, joyfully synchronistic one, we can become immune to the distortions prevalent. It's hard though, especially for people like me, <laughs> because that's basically how the law of attraction works efficiently and why many of us fall short in actually attracting to ourselves anything of actual value. We have to transcendentally vibrate faster than the dense construct of this toxic mundane matrix then I believe life becomes less of a struggle to navigate. We've all had glimpses of that, right? <laughs>